Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Liberty Park in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, the home of the Sioux Falls Sparrows as they take on the Tulsa Desperados. I'm your play-by-play commentator, Ramos Ling. Alongside me in the booth is Alden Bleeker. And Alden, more SFL action. I'm very excited about this one. A Tulsa team that has won five in a row. A Sioux Falls team that has lost three in a row. When he has such a high completion percentage, it makes sense. The pass to the outside, that's gonna be caught to Duncan. And Duncan, Marcus Duncan gets yet another first down. Three plays, three first downs for the Sparrows. Two wide receiver set twin, bottom of the screen. To pass, Tyree goes, throws. The pass is gonna be caught oh somehow. Goodness. After getting hit, it's Noé Terrazas for another first down, Sioux Falls. And you see there, getting hit, and somehow makes the, the pass. Speaking about passes, we have another first down for Sioux Falls as they are absolutely shredding the Tulsa defense. Sioux Falls defying expectations in the opposite direction. To pass to Julian Tyree is wide open. K. Mario for the touchdown. When they are at their absolute best, I mean, K. Marion, absolutely nobody around her. And you see there. Third and three, Julian Tyree from under center. The pass is gonna go and it's gonna be tipped oh. and intercepted. Nate Hesler pass it and returning it to the 36 yard line. A huge break and a much needed play for the Tulsa defense, Alden. Uh, you really open things up based on Doug Brown's performance for this team. Q, the pass is gonna be picked oh. up on this land. A great read on the ball. Wow. That's Darrell Davis on the pick. Seventh year man, two time all-star. Last time in season 17, what a great play, Alden. Yeah, wow, that is just man coverage at its absolute finest. Tyree from the shotgun. Tyree, the pass, middle, caught again. K. Marion has been unstoppable tonight, and it's another first down for the Sparrows. Slashdale Black is the kicker. 5'11", 178, second season in the SFL. Made the All-Star game last season. And from the right hash, black wow. kick is up and it is good from 46. And that could have been good from 54. And showing double coverage. Look for a post route inside here. It's going to be a slant instead. And another interception. It's going to be picked up and being returned to the 30 and to the 27 yard line. As Sioux Falls defense is absolutely smothering the Tulsa offense. Julian Tyree already over 100 yards in the first quarter, hovering about 130 so far. Tyree, the pass to Duncan, the pass is caught. Duncan, pass the 20, pass the 15, has the first down. For more information about the SFL, visit our website at simulationfl.net. The SFL with for the fan in fantasy as the Julian Tyree pass is completed for another first down. 12 personnel, another throw, Julian Tyree, back of the end zone again, touchdown! K. Marion, second touchdown of the game, Sioux Falls up by 16. First down and 10, ball at the 47 yard line. To throw, the pass inside is gonna be wow. caught somehow. Back to back catches by Corey Jones. First down and 10, ball at the 40 yard line. Uh, so it's a offset eye formation as the halfback Brown gets the handoff and he goes outside to pick up yet another first down, a pickup of 11 yards. But this is by far far their best offensive drive here you know uh douglas brown now has 30 yards that's that's tr a triple what he went into this with and Su and tulsa gonna walk away with three points again better than better than nothing so, uh, again well i i don't think they're working the hard count I, th I think they actually are going for it tyree He's going to try the hard count right now. Quarterback sneak, fumbles the football, yeah. and Julian Tyree is going to fumble the football away to the Tulsa Desperados as they recover Jaden Swift. And, man, exactly, that's exactly what I'm saying. You don't want to give Tulsa any momentum. I am so confused at what we just saw. I mean, a quarterback sneak up the middle, that that's... <laughs> as unorthodox of a play call as 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 you're gonna see in this league but but they have have shown you know minute by minute improvements here i i think that helps your momentum a lot just to score anything to pass the pass is gonna go to brown can he get out of bounds no he Ooh. cuts it inside i mean they have four wide receivers so it's not a bad formation the pass by jq to the middle is caught 
What a beautiful throw! A post route goes to the wide receiver. That's uh, Corey Jones. As Tosa will call a timeout. JQ got oh, rocked. Oh my! Oh, and that was that was. I mean, I we talk about you know some of the best spiral throwers in the SFL. Ariel Manning's updated stats. Zero receptions as Barnhart has done a phenomenal job on him. The kick is up and it is good. So from 36, Brooke Weissel puts the ball between the upright, 17 to 6. Playbacks formation, Tyree will throw. Tyree inside, caught, Terrazas again. Another first down for the Sioux Falls offense up to the 29 yard line. Look for the slot, the slot guy on a quick in. That was K. Marion. The pass instead goes deep and it's caught. It is caught, that's Mile Portis again. And now they are inside the five. Do they give the ball to Duncan here in the offset? No, they don't. The pass inside. Ooh. For the touchdown. You almost have to laugh. Yep, Julian Tyree, the pass again. It's gonna be knocked away and picked off. Nate Heslip has it. The second pick by Nate Heslip puts the ball at the 29 yard line. Second and goal. Does this go to the number two tight end, hit number 85? It will not. The pass goes to Cornelius oh. and it's knocked away, knocked away again and picked what? off! Picked up by Nate Haslip's third interception of the game as Julian Tari was out. Actually, they, they already set him and the backup throws a pick. And it's Nate Haslep again. <laughs> he just refuses to give up on this on this tip. It's tipped once, it's tipped twice. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, player of the game often boils down to statistics, but I, I think really in terms of who has had the most uh, impact on the game, I, I think you're absolutely right. You there was nowhere to throw the ball to, to Gabriel Manning all game long. Sick, yeah, uh, third and, down and inches. Go ahead. And, and and really, that's what's remarkable about it is that it really has not shown up in the stat sheet. One tackle and, and two assisted tackles, and 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 you know, no no uh, p pass defenses or interceptions in, in in general. I would say, but but you know, a, a, as you say, especially John Barnhart, I think do deserve to be in the discussion. That pass goes to Gabriel Manning, and he stays in balance. Gabriel Manning gets to the three-yard line. A great decision right there by JQ passing the ball to number 18. And that makes their, their playoff scenarios a bit more difficult here. They're just trying to do whatever they can for themselves. JQ, the pass goes to Douglas Brown. Wide open. Touchdown, Tulsa. As they're going to narrow the gap to two scores. Uh, a win streak, or, or uh, a two-game win streak, excuse me. And... Uh, it's it's back to to winning ways for Sioux Falls and uh, you know Sioux Falls are a perennial playoff contender. They're looking for any sort of avenue there at this point. Certainly one of the classiest organizations in the SFL. They've been around for a very long time and they get the W, 24 to 13 